Russ, I actually had a question for you. Is it about penguins? No. No, what is it then? If half, an, half a hen lays half an egg in half a day, how long does it take a monkey with a wooden leg to kick out all the seeds of a dill pickle? Now that's the question of the night. Exactly. I digress. Often and without provocation. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. I use big words. Why use small words when you can use a dimin diminutive one? Right. That's what I always say. I stutter a little and I use a big word to impress people. Anyway, I, I digress. My name is Rob D. How you, how's everyone doing? The new people, I don't think they get it very much. How are you guys doing? Amazing. All right, there we go. Welcome. Now, most of you know that magic isn't my full-time gig. Have I ever told you that before? Yeah. And my full-time gig is I am a? Yes. Uh, you guys do listen. Yes. Yes. Could, could you tell my wife to start listening to me? Yes, but I am a male nurse, and because I'm a male nurse does not mean that I'm gay. Because I wear fishnets, that means I'm gay. Anyways, but I digress. Friday nights. Anyways, I love you, man. So the one thing about nursing and magic that coalesce with each other is when I see a problem in nursing or a problem in magic, I try to solve it. Something that I've been working on lately is when a patient comes out of surgery, we have two major problems that we're dealing with. Number one, their oxygen levels are low because they're still gonked from all the narcotics I gave them in surgery, so they're not breathing very much. The second problem we encounter a little bit later is their bowels are the last thing to wake up. So we get constipation, we get abdominal pain, and we get gas. It's pretty shitty if you ask me. <laughs> Actually, it's not shitty, that's the problem. Hey, the jokes are free. The magic, that's what you pay for, okay? Uh, you'll probably get your five bucks worth out of this gig, okay? Then you'll make your money. But anyways, I've just devised a way to take care of both those problems at one time. Let me show you it. I call it Lax Ox. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It is oxygen with inline laxative. Isn't that great? You just plug that straight in the wall and start your bowels start going, they, oh man, they start rumbling right away, your oxygen level goes up. You know, I had a pharmaceutical company that was really interested in this, the makers of Miralax. Uh, but they found out in testing that it was cost prohibitive because the cleaning fee of the ceilings just was way too much. You know, I think, I might be able to firm that joke up a little bit more and it'll work out a little bit better. It is stuck, the, the research is just stuck, it's just horrible. Uh, something that did happen to me this last week, which I think you guys would get a kick out of, I walked into a job interview for a nursing job and I wear the same coat, yes I'm cheap, I only have one coat, and I've got this thing rigged out with hands, grapplers, and that's just the women. Um, and I reach into my pocket and I feel a plastic bag. There's an act that I'd use with a raw egg and I reach in there and I squeeze the bag. There's a freaking raw egg in the bag. As I'm about ready to walk in and say, hi, my name's Rob Davis. I had to ditch this rotten egg that I left in from the previous performance and luckily there was a trash can. It just was magician problems, it's horrible. Anyways, but I digress. One of the things that I've decided to try to figure out in, in nursing and this whole magic thing is what if we start to imagine something is happening? What if we imagine surgery, surgery is happening? And maybe it does happen, but we're not, since we're imagining it, it's not really happening, but it's really happening. Does that make sense? It sounds like Russ's brain, I know, but let me show you what I've been working on. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. This is extra.
You know, when we, when we do surgery, we use large instruments, kind of like that. It's, it's sharp. This is what we, we're able to draw blood with this thing, straight into the artery. We also are able to do a vasectomy, but we're not going to do that here. That's because of the internet. Thank you very much. Um, however, I've, we're going to give this a try and see how it, how it looks. We're going to go ahead and try to draw blood from my arm here tonight. I see a little bit of cringing, but it, it, it'll be okay. First thing we have to do is we have to clean the insertion site. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lube the needle. Bet you heard that one before. I don't think you want your needle to be dry. Neither does, anyways. And I was told a long time ago as a small child, the more lube, the better. <laughs> you know, to go ahead and concentrate on this, and so I can figure, maybe if I had just imagined it's happening, and get out of my own head, it will happen. So if you guys will clap on your legs like a heartbeat. Mr. Brett Coke, there you go. Okay, okay guys, okay, okay. How does it look from your end? Does it look good? Yeah, I haven't done anything yet. Okay. Okay. Now. Let me tell you one thing. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Has this ever happened to you? You know, you're right in the throes and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. It just kind of, you know, it just, yeah, you need a little Viagra to go with it. Um, I'm having technical difficulties. My wife says it's not natural. So I, I, I hate to tell you this, but it's just not going to work tonight. I, it's just not going to work, unfortunately. But you know, one of the other things that I've tried to make nowadays is a new dosage of Viagra, a new way to take Viagra. Um, instead of the nice little blue pill under your tongue, you know, sir, right? Uh, not that, no, no, experimentation, I understand, yes. Uh, instead of putting it under your tongue during uh, dinner, we know what's, you know, people know what's going on. I've decided. Why don't we put it in eye drops? Ah, now that's a clever idea. Pfizer, the makers of Viagra, have decided to uh, take this into trial, just like the Laxox. Hopefully there's no major problems. Um, I got an advanced sample last week. Not that I need it, sir. No, no, I don't need it. Don't ask my wife. Uh, and I went ahead and I put them in my eyes, and it didn't do anything. That was the problem. It did make it hard to see for three to four hours. I know. People were saying that I was giving them stiff stares all night long. Ah. I know. Okay. So with the, on that note, I apologize. The needle didn't work. But at least I have given you Viagra eye drops. Woo! Thank you.